Now, moving on to someone else, Kate Actress. Okay. We all know her. We all love her. We, we were just watching a very funny um, comical skit that they did, you mm -hmm. know, trying to talk about a particular s series on Netflix that is now being shown. I think it's called Blood Sisters. Yeah. Yeah, they were just really funny with Aisha as well. And it's a very funny video. If, if you haven't seen it, just go to the socials. You will see it. But I digress. And that is probably exactly what happened with her because she's trying to digress the fat out of her body. I said that wrong. That sounded wrong, right? That's, that sounded a little wrong. <sighs> Now, she's trying to work on her body yes. since conventional means have actually not proved to, you know, work. Yes. And in case you don't know what we're on about, this is the story. She got, it's called an, in, um, it's, it's a balloon that they normally put into your, uh, in, in, it's, it's endos, you go through an endoscopy, they put up a balloon. It's called an in, intra, intra what? Uh, Wow. Yes. <laughs> Medical profession. I'm telling I'm, I'm, I'm looking for that word right now because it's just very, very uh, scientific. Anyway, she got this particular balloon. There's a procedure that people normally do. And then you get that balloon put into your system. It's called an endoscopic. Uh, let me find it for you, honeys. Uh, so basically, okay. it, it has the balloon is inside your stomach yeah. so that you can reduce the food intake. And it's actually been going on for years. Yes. However, Kate is trying it out. And she actually mentioned that she has been going to the gym. And we have seen her. We've seen her on social media going to the gym, hitting those goals. But she's saying she, it really hasn't worked out for her. Yes. And now she's trying this new method to see if it will work. Intragastic balloon. Now, she got this intragastic balloon, which is, again, put into your stomach. It's a mm -hmm. small balloon uh, put in through the back, of course, mm -hmm. uh, through like an endoscopic type of procedure. And it does exactly that. It's yeah. a saline balloon that kind of put, uh, takes, sh takes space, space in, in your stomach, stomach yeah. such that you don't feel the need to eat as much because there's a little bit of your stomach which is constantly full all the time. Which, again, is a procedure that has been done so many times. I've seen every time you watch one of these like botched or any of these other um, surgeries, Surgical, cosmetic surgical uh, shows, you will mm -hmm. see a chart somewhere in the back which shows you exactly the placement and it describes the whole procedure. It's six months. It's only six months and she is willing to do it. And actually, I love the fact that she was very open about it and she even describes that the reason why she's doing it is not just to lose weight and mm -hmm. it is an actual kind of final result for her because she has tried to go to the gym and all of that. Yeah. But she also wants to be very comfortable in her own body. She wants to get some roles on some of the acting show, uh, some of the um, films and shows that she's, she wants to do in the future and she has to get to that particular body in order for her to feel comfortable enough to do these shows. Mm -hmm. And I know that this can be met with a lot of criticism considering exactly what happened when Kim Kardashian did the exact same thing last week but not exactly the same thing. Kim Kardashian wanted to fit in Marilyn Monroe's dress for the Met. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately it was not met with a lot of happiness when she said that she hadn't been eating sugar or carbs for like a whole month in order for her to lose, was it six six pounds? Seven pounds. Seven pounds in order for her to fit in that dress Marilyn Monroe wore. It's a 60-year-old dress. So a lot of times whenever people try and get a remedy to be able to get into whatever they want to do, either professionally, an outfit, an event, whatever, it is met with a lot of criticism because we don't understand why people have to go to such drastic measures when in our eyes... They look perfect. Mm -hmm. She actually says that simply because you think I have the perfect body doesn't mean that I see myself in the same way. So you can't start to tell me what to do because, first of all, it's her body. Mm -hmm. It's her decision. She wants to look good. We think she looks good. Yeah. And we can't wait to see how she looks even better later on when she loses some of this weight. We're, we're excited to see what happens. Mm -hmm. But this doesn't mean that we all have to do the same thing. If you're comfortable in your own skin, Stay that way. If you're not, make the right adjustments, but make it your business, not everyone else's, yeah. I think. Yeah, yeah. I, I actually do relate to Kate in a very deep way, you know? Same way she's been called out for, like, editing her pictures. It's the same way I have also been called out for editing my pictures. Dang. And I do understand where it comes from. It's not necessarily... And it's not that you feel ugly. You just feel like if I looked this way, I could, you know, be comfortable doing this and this and this. I personally have actually like not applied for something or gone for an audition because not because I, do, I don't feel like I can do it, but because I feel like my body size is not the right requirement for that. And 
a lot of people, you know, when you talk about, you know, your body dysmorphia and everything, people are like, oh, but you're beautiful. Uh-uh. I did not say I'm ugly. I just said I just don't feel comfortable in the skin I am in. And I just want to do a few adjustments here and there. So stop coming for me. Mm. However, Kate, do whatever you need to do to actually feel good, you know? Yeah. We have one life. Do the most with it. Do whatever brings you ease, brings you comfort, brings you joy. Because at the end of the day, you go to sleep alone. Absolutely. You go to sleep with these intrusive thoughts that you have to work on, you know, regardless of what everyone else thinks, especially if you're a celebrity. Our whole world is thinking about how good you are. Mm -hmm. But, you know, deep down you're feeling, ah, oh, I could fix something. Mm. But enough of that. Mm. Now let's get... Uh -huh. Now, and I believe that what you're trying to also summarize is it, it's okay to look how you look. It's okay to feel how you feel. But sometimes the image that you have in your mind of you isn't necessarily what everyone else sees. True. So try and start to find your own self-confidence before you start to mitigate issues. It's not necessary. Not everyone has to go through these processes. So now we're going to go on a quick little break. And when we come back, we continue.